Hey guys, so I filmed the whole video, well, the whole what's new video today and then totally forgot to put this in the video. So I'm just gonna refilm this and plonk it at the start and then the video is gonna start from here. My question to all of you guys who are our customers, our, our um, followers, our viewers, is where would you like to see the third Tackle West store in Perth? So I'm toying with the idea. Um, you know, we, we've grown dramatically over the, the past couple of years and I'm really toying up with the idea of, of opening a third store. So I really just would love to know from you guys, where would you like to see our third store? Um, would you like it north of the river, south of the river? Give us some suburbs where you think you would like to see a Tackle West store. You know, we, we it is a bit of a jump for us and we are growing pretty quickly, but you know, you gotta have a crack, right? So <laughs> that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. So um, I would really, yeah, just love to hear from you guys where you'd like to see our third store. If you could leave us a comment below, um, I'd really appreciate it. And again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, if you're not, um, you know, well, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, then, you know, please do subscribe. Um, and I hope you enjoy the content, but I'm gonna get this phone call, but guys, just let us know in the comments below and I hope you enjoy the video. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you've been getting out for a fish. We've had some really good weather over the past couple of weeks. And you know, there's been plenty of fish getting caught. A lot of guys getting into Mackies at Rotto. The fads have been going off. Um, the brim fishing in the river has been really good. It's it's just been pretty, pretty good couple of weeks. I haven't really been out much myself, but um, hopefully over the coming month, I'm gonna be able to get out a fair bit more. But Today, guys, I wanted to show you some of the new things that have come in store. We've had, as always, we've had a, a fair amount of new product arrive. Um, we've had some things restocked that haven't been in stock for a little while, but I'm gonna get st stuck straight into the video, guys, and show you the, the thing that I'm most excited about this week um, and some of the new electric reels, and let's just, let's get straight into it. So I'm really excited this week because we've just got in the all new electric reels from Daiwa and it's the new Leo Brits, the 300 and the 500 size. Now, like electric reels for us, they're getting really, really popular. A lot of guys are using them for shallow water fishing. They're using them for um, dewfish, snapper, bottom fishing. Um, you know, they're not necessarily just meant for deep water fishing. And as the, the gear keeps evolving and the products, you know, the brands continue to bring more products out, well, electric reels continue to get smaller and smaller. And these things are really cool and they come down to a 300 size. So this one here is perfect for PE3 and PE4 lines, you know, for bottom fishing, for dewfish, snapper, that kind of stuff. You might use this reel in up to, you know, 100 meters of water, but they're really cool. They're really good fun to use. That The reels are, you know, they're, all of these ones that I'm showing you, they're all made in Japan ones. So they're, they're really good quality reels and they just make fishing even, <laughs> they just make fishing fun. Like um, if you fish with a small electric reel like this, they're, they're really good fun. Um, they're great for, you know, older guys that don't want to wind up as much or, you know, if you just, just want a small electric reel, then these are a really good option. So the Leo Brits are a new series that Dyer have just released for 23. Um, as I was saying, they come in a 300 size and they also come in a 500 size. So the 500 size is really good for PE4 and PE5 lines. So 40 to 50 pound braid. You can fit up to about, so a 50 pound braid, you can fit up to 400 meters on this little reel. So this is gonna be great for fishing anywhere up to kind of 150 meters. Um, you know, the good thing about these types of reels is you can fish these on, you know, the the, slow pitch jigging style rods. So you've got a really nice light outfit. You've got the, you know, the um, electric winding or, you know, or the electric reel um, facility there. So, you know, you don't have to, if you've dropped your jig to the bottom or dropped your bait to the bottom, you know, you've been baited or you haven't, haven't hooked up, you can wind your reel up nice and, nice and quickly with the electric function, or you can use it exactly as a normal reel. So they work the exact same as a normal fishing reel. Um, they have the drag on the side, you know, to engage the free spool, you simply press the thumb bar, you can re-engage the reel. Very simple to use, but they're the new electrics that have just come out. So we got the 300, the 500. In the electric reels, we've also had um, Tanicums restocked and we've also received the 800 size. 
But the Tanicum 1200 and the Tanicum uh, 800, well that's the 1200, that's the 800, these have finally come back into stock and we've got really good stocks of these at the moment. So, you know, for the guys that are fishing deeper water, three, 400 meters, the Tanicum 1200, it's probably the best value for money electric reel on the market. You, you know, we sell absolutely stacks of these reels. Um, never had any complaints about them. They are a new reel. Um, they were released in 2022 and it's a complete redesign of the old Tanicum. The cool thing about these electric reels is the motor is actually inside the spool. So you can see how big the reel actually is. Well, the motor sits internally in the spool, um, gives it a lot more cranking power, just a much more durable design. Um, but they're, they're back in stock and we've got really good stocks of them. We do have these rigged up in combos with braid ready to go. You can check them all out on our website. There's a number of different rods that they come with, um, but they're all fully restocked. And the last one that we have a reasonable amount of stock of is the, these things are the, the baddest electric reel on the market, okay? These are the Seaborg Mega Twins, um, and this one here is the 500 size. So we are totally sold out of the 800 and the 1200 size at this current moment, but we will be receiving them back in shortly. But if you want a badass little reel, check these things out, okay? So this is the 500. It's great for fishing um, P4, P5 line. This is a two-speed reel. So this has a high gear and a low gear for, um, you know, when you hook a fish, you can drop it into the low gear. If you just want to get your baits or your jig up real quick, you can run it up in the high gear. But this thing is a super powerful, tiny little electric reel. And honestly, I've, I've actually fished with one of these things before, and you'll be surprised at just how much power this little, this little reel um, packs. It's, it's, it's got some serious um, drag pressure and some serious pulling power. So these are in stock guys, um, along with all these other electric reels. Like I said, with the larger sizes of these, they'll be coming back into store soon. But if you wanna check out all the latest electric reels, we have them in store, so pop in, I can run you through them all. Um, or you can order them on our website and you know, we can spool them up for you and send them out directly to you. But um, that's the electric reels that we're gonna start on. And I think next up, we've got some really epic new rods that I wanna show you as well that have just come in. Um, so I think we'll go have a quick look at those. So moving on to rods, and I've got an exciting new range of rods to show you. I've actually got two, two ranges of rods to show you. And it's from the um, surf fishing brand Assassin. Now, if you do any beach fishing um, or surf fishing, you I'm sure you'll probably be pretty familiar with the, the brand Assassin. They, are a South African brand that specializes in, in surf fishing gear. And you know, their rods, honestly, they make the best surf fishing rods on the market. The, these guys, the, the, their rods are just, they will give you the best cast, they've got the most power, um, they're probably the best built surf fishing rods going. And really excited to have the all new Horizon series in. So. If you haven't heard about the Horizon series of rods, this is the championship series. So it is the latest ones that have just been released. And I've got to say, they they really have nailed these rods. They are ultra lightweight. So the previous model Horizons were very lightweight, um, you know, for you know, 13, 14, 15 foot rods, they didn't weigh too much. Well, these ones are even lighter. Um, the blanks are even more responsive and the finish on them is absolutely outstanding. So um, there's about, I think there's about seven or eight models to choose from all varying in different casting uh, casting weights. The one that I've got in my hand right now, this is the, um, it's the number eight, and it's an extra, extra heavy rod that will cast between seven and nine ounces. So seven and nine ounces is pretty heavy um, for a surf rod. And you know, this, this particular rod itself, you know, I mean, this is a three piece rod, but the butt section, this is where all the weight is. And this thing is, it weighs nothing. Um, they all come fitted with the bionic finger for casting. So this little finger, you wrap your line around the little knob there, um, pretty much saves your finger from getting cut off with the braid. And it also allows you to actually put a lot more power into your cast and essentially gives you more distance. But there's a range of different models available um, as, as far as weight. 
uh, casting weights go, but the all new Horizon Championship Series, these, we, we stock the whole range. So, um, you know, you can come in, have a feel of them, pick them up, see what one's gonna suit you best. If you can't get into the store though, you can order them on our website and we do send a lot of these over east guys. So um, don't be afraid to order these online. We've got them all listed and um, which I'm gonna link as well for you guys. But um, you know, if you wanna order one online, um, we ship them out daily. But again, um, Assassin Horizon, championship series this is uh this is a sur if you're serious about surf fishing this is this is one that you're going to want to check out so i'll link them below but the other one that i also wanted to show you as well is the all new evo series so the evo series are another premium premium uh range from from assassin so where is it there we go um and this is the latest uh, latest well range from of, of Evo rods. So um, these are multi-directional carbon rod. Um, very again, very lightweight. And the thing with these rods, like I was saying, they they just cast exceptionally well. If you pick up any of the Assassin rods, you can kind of compare them to some of the other brands of surf rods on the market. If you go and have a cast with them you'll see why these things are so bloody good, and you'll see why they have the price tag on them because they just they will just outperform everything else. Um, so anyway, th this Evo series is about, oh, I think there's about four or five models in the Evo range. Um, this particular one here is the number six, and this will cast five, I don't know if you can see there, but it will cast five to seven ounces. Again, they're all fitted up with the um, bionic finger so you get that really really uh, long cast save your finger as well um, but yeah exceptionally well built um, good quality Fuji componentry on them and yeah like just everything about the rods they're finished really well and you know if you if you want the best surf rods going you really kind of can't go past an assassin or I'd at least recommend you know come and have a look at an assassin if you if you're in the range for a for a good surf rod because I really think you you won't be disappointed with these. There is actually one more thing that I want to show you from Assassin and I'm just going to go and quickly grab them all right. So the next range that I'm going to show you and I'm pretty sure you would have heard of these before but it's the Assassin Bluefish Zero range and it's also we're also going to talk about the Bluefish range as well. The difference between them is the component tree and there's just a couple of different models but these have always come <clears throat> standard in just the short butt. So, you know, you have the short butt with the bionic finger. Now, in Australia, a lot of people like to fish with a long butt rod. It's 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 not very common. There's, there's not many brands that you see in Australia that have these short butts um, and they're not super common. So a lot of people actually prefer the longer butts. Now, Assassin have listened to what, you know, a lot of the Aussie anglers are asking for, and they've now produced a long butt series of rods in the Bluefish and the Bluefish Zero. So you can see there, <clears throat> we have a, you know, a traditional style surf fishing rod um, with the long butts. Now, again, as with all Assassin rods, these things are finished um, exceptionally well. They cast really, they, they generally cast heavier weights than a standard uh, range of rods, but these are two to four ounce cast weight. So you'll cast a reasonable sinker, um, a fairly, fairly decent distance, um, really stiff action, so you get a really good long cast. But the Bluefish and Bluefish Zero, um, all now available with a long butt, and they're all on our website at tacklewest.com.au. You can order them on there, um, or you can come in store and check these ones out. But um, another another addition to the Assassin range. One thing I will say as well, guys, like surf fishing gear, we um, didn't really realize it before, but we have a, an absolute stack of surf fishing rods, um, especially at our Osmond Park store, because we just have a little bit more room here, opposed to Beckingham. But um, if you're into surf fishing, we seriously have a absolute stack there's a couple of rows here of of surf rods um and you know they're not all top end high end premium rods we do have some some um mid-range rods and some cheaper entry level rods to to look at but 
If you're doing any surf fishing, like definitely come in and have a chat to us and we can run you through like the, we've got stacks here. Um, Troy, especially who's the manager of the store, he, he specializes in surf fishing. So if you want any advice and you just want to get set up properly with the right gear and speak to the people that actually have an idea about surf fishing, um, come in, come in and have a chat to us. Um, and especially come and have a chat to T Troy cause he's a wealth of knowledge. He's absolutely keen to share his knowledge and, and set you up with the right gear. So, um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd pop that in there, but next up, we're just going to move back to the brim section and this brim section, since the last time I've popped a video up, this brim section's, I know, it's actually even gotten bigger. So I didn't think it could get bigger, but it, it has gotten bigger and we've added more and more gear to it. So it's a little bit in the process at the moment, um, but we've got a new rack in the middle here and this thing is slowly slowly filling up but you can see we have all the zip baits we've actually expanded our eco gear range a lot more as well so um, we have mw 60s we have sx 48s uh, sx 40s um, there's some sx 40s uh, sorry sx 60s in there um, we have all the colors well not all the colors um, just because they're not available but we have the spots for all the colors of the ZX blade. So ZX30, ZX35, ZX40s. And we also have all the new ZX43s in. So we've been getting asked for this lure a fair amount and we finally have these on the shelf and in stock and on our website. We've been getting a real ask for these. And, you know, I haven't posted about them much because they've just actually been been walking off the shelves but um i wanted to give you guys a look and we finally have the outback brimmer baits muss so these are um, a muscle lure it's got twin hooks on it and really really uh well really really effective lure um but they're handmade in albany by callum dow and yeah i mean if you do any brim fishing if you're on on social media i'm sure you're probably going to going to know a bit about these lures um, they've been winning tournaments they've just been catching an absolute stack of of big brim and they're available in two weights so there's a light and a heavy we have them both in stock um, there's about four colors that we have in in stock um, four different colors um, just variations of the muscle but these things guys they're in stock um, I guess they are kind of limited to a degree that they, they can kind of be a little bit hard to get your hands on um, but they're a really, really good lure. Every serious brim fisherman needs to have um, some mussels like these in their in their tackle box. Um, very easy to use, and they just they just get eaten. So um, they come rigged up with decoy trebles, really good quality trebles, and it's an actual um, full wide through lure. So you can see you've got the little wide points in there. Um, but guys, really easy to use, um, very effective, and you know they're in stock at Tackle West now. So um, if you can't get in store, just order them on the website. We ship them out daily. But um, a really effective lure, and yeah, I'm glad to have these things on the shelf. Okay, so I've just moved over to the stick bait wall, and I really had to show you guys these because we've just got them in, and. They're actually a redesign of a lure that's, that, well, this lure has already been out before, but I guess it's a redesign of it with new colors, new terminal. Um, overall, they've just kind of revamped this lure and I think they've really nailed it and it looks really bloody good, but it's the Daiwa Rough Ride Stick Baits. So there's two sizes here. There's a 140 and there's a 160. Now, these things here are gonna be great for a lot of Australian species of fish, whether it's uh, tuna, kingfish, mackerel, um, you know, pretty much anything that's gonna eat a stick bait, I think you're gonna find these things are gonna work really, really well. Um, completely redesigned color range, and they really have done a good job on the colors this time around. Um, they've fitted them out with the Adele foil, so, a lot more reflection they actually use this adult foil and their smaller lures like the little sazanami um little sazanami brim lures and you know it really gives it a really good reflection just a, an epic 
epic color range to choose from. Um, they come fitted standard with good quality trebles and split rings and hooks. And the thing is like, you do not have to upgrade what they come with. So they're really, really good quality terminals straight out of the box. And you know, these lures are very well priced. Like for the 140, they're $29.99. And for the 160, they're $34.99. So I think it's really good value for money. Um, really easy to work. They're a floating stick bait, um, but you can get them to dive and dart under the surface with um, just some jerks of the rod tip. But again, guys, um, check these out because I think I think Dio have done a really good job on the relaunch of these. Um, they have the little indentations. It's, it kind of looks like a golf ball finish, as <laughs> you, you can see on the side. It's supposed to help it with casting distance. Uh, don't know how much of a difference it would make, but it kind of makes the lure look pretty cool. But... Yeah, this is the um, the Saltiga Rough Ride, the 140, the 160. I'll link them there so you can check out all the colors. There's some really good colors in the range. I do like the flying fish color, which is this. I think that's probably my favorite color out of the whole range. Um, you know, what doesn't eat a flying fish, right? Um, but check them out. They're the new Saltiga Rough Ride lures from Daiwa. Oh, if I don't hook myself here. There we go. Okay, lastly for this week, it's pretty much, I guess, just the, the clothing. We've had an absolute ton of new Salty Crew clothing arrive. Um, we've also had like well, shirts, um, shorts, pants, hats, stacks and stacks of hats. But we've also had a bit of a women's range arrive. So, um, I don't know, something new for all the, the fisher chicks out there, I guess. Um, but we've had some really nice proper fishing clothing, women's fishing clothing rock up. Um, these are, you know, uh, fitted, um, you know, tech fishing shirt, I guess is what you call it, um, with the hoods on them. So we've had a stack of those arrive, um, a whole heap of, yeah, new fishing shirts. There's, um, like a traditional style fishing shirt. We've got all the tech hooded fishing shirts. Um, we've actually got like stacks and stacks. We've, we've probably actually got too many clothes to be honest. Um, but you know, if you want good fishing clothes, you know, we've got it at Tackle West. Um, these ones here, these ones are really nice. I've actually worn one of these fishing a few times and they're really, really comfortable. Um, but yeah, absolutely stacks and stacks of clothes. So um, most of them are on the website. So if you want to order them online, yeah, absolutely go for it. Um, and I guess just to finish off, well, we've added another gondola in at Osman Park here. So if you can see down the end here, we've got another gondola. Um, we're kind of in the process of moving stuff, but that gives us, you know, another gondola worth of space. Now, I have some new product ordered for here, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but have a bit of a guess and let us know in the comments what you think we're going to be putting here. So um, once all this, we'll move all, obviously all this gear off it, but um, let us know what you think that we've got coming in the comments for this little section here. And it, hopefully within the next month or so, uh, you, well, I'm going to do a video showing you all the new product that's going to be coming here, but uh, I'm excited for this one. But anyway, guys, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. And I guess thanks to everybody for all the support. We've had a really busy couple of months. Um, the stores are, are doing really well. And, you know, uh, we're just working hard trying to give you guys the best shopping experience and show you the best fishing gear and, and really just kind of create a really good store for you guys to shop at. So anyway, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video, and I hope you all get out for a fish soon. Cheers.